Hello everyone, today in this video we will discuss about TAN registration procedure on TRACES website. So let us begin with what is TRACES. TRACES stands for TDS Reconciliation Analysis and Correction Enabling System which is provided by the Income Tax Department on their web portal particularly for TDS administration. A person having an account on this portal can have access to various utilities like filing of TDS returns, viewing of chalans, downloading form 16 or 16A, making online corrections and placing requests for resolution etc. So one question that arises is who can register on TRACES? So in order to avail the various functionalities on TRACES website, registration can be done by a deductor or by a taxpayer or by a PAO. Now let us know who is a tax deductor or a collector. So where a person is deducting tax at source or collecting any TCS, the same is required to register at Trace's website for availing a number of services. So where a person is deducting tax at source or collecting any TCS, the same would be required to register at Trace's website for availing a number of services. So now we will be getting a detailed understanding on how one can register and the need to register as a deductor on Traces website. So why should a deductor register on Traces? Registering on Traces website will enable the tax deductor or collector of tax to first check the TDS refund status, registration as admin, creation of sub user, to provide feedback, do online corrections, make offline corrections, generate and download form 16 and 16A, to view statement status, check the chalan status, to validate 197 certificate, to download the CONSO file, download justification report, verification of PAN or bulk PANs, to view PAN status against a TAN, can manage profile and change password, View credit amount of TDS or TCS against a particular PAN. Make declaration regarding the non-filing of statements. Declaration to deposit lower TDS. And lastly, the status of outstanding demand. Next is, when can a deductor register on traces? So the deductor, after filing the first statement at TIN FC, can register on traces. But to register, the status of the statement should show processed at CPC on TIN portal. Now we come to the process for registering on Traces as a deductor. So if you are a deductor, open the Traces website. After this, you will be redirected to the home page. Then follow the following steps to register successfully. So on the Traces website, select register as new user option and under that select deductor. Then enter the details and proceed step by step from 1 to 4. Click on proceed after step 4. After that a confirmation screen will appear at step 5. Click to confirm details to confirm registration of TAN or click on edit to modify the details. On successful confirmation you will receive an activation mail with the link. Also. Two different activation codes will be sent to the registered mail ID and mobile number. Next, click on the activation link and enter your user ID plus both the activation codes received. After that, account activation must be completed within 48 hours of the registration or else your account will be deactivated and you will have to register on the Traces portal again. Now, you are registered on Traces. For doing any activity on Traces, you can now make login with the user ID and the password which is generated. Now we will know about who is a taxpayer or a deductee. Taxpayer or deductee means the person whose tax has been deducted. On the basis of nature of income on which such tax has been deducted, deductees can be categorized as first salaried persons and secondly as non-salaried persons. Next is who can register as a taxpayer. So the persons that can register on traces are first of all the PAN holders whose TDS have been deducted. Second is the PAN holders who has deposited any of the following taxes like the self-assessment tax, advance tax or the TDS on property. So why should a taxpayer register on traces? 
So registering on traces provide access to the following that is making registration to make download form 16B, verification of TDS certificates, to view or download form 26AS, creating and managing user profile and passwords, and to view and download aggregated TDS compliance report. Apart from this, they can also undertake 26QB correction, request for resolution, and also provide feedback. Now we come to the important discussion in this video that is how can taxpayers register on traces to register as a taxpayer on traces website follow the particular step by step process first is go to tds cpc official website on the home page click on register as new user on the left panel of the screen and select the taxpayer option when prompted then the screen will open up and fill in the requisite details in the set form after this, enter the details in the each step from 1 to 4 and finally click on proceed. After that, a confirmation window will open and confirm the details on the confirmation screen. On successful registration, you will get an activation link on your registered email ID along with two different activation codes for mobile number and email ID. After this, click on the activation link and proceed to enter the two activation codes. Please note that the activation should be done within 48 hours of registration else the account will stand deactivated and the applicant will have to register again on the traces portal. Now you can make the login successfully with the username and the password that has been created. Next is how to download form 16 or 16A from traces portal. So the option to download form 16 or 16A has been given to the deductor and not to the taxpayer or the deductee. Hence, if you need form 16 or 16A for the TDS deducted by your current or previous employer or the deductor, you need to contact them for the same. There is no option available on the traces portal where you can download it by yourself in case you are a deductee or a taxpayer. Next, we will discuss about who is a PAO. So in a government office where the tax has been paid without the payment through Chalan, that is by book entries in such a case, Form 24G needs to be furnished. So the PAO or the Pay or Accounts Office is a person that is specified to file such Form 24G. Next is why should a PAO register on traces? The registration on traces portal shall be made by a PAO to access these functionalities that is to view the details of the DDOs, view the status of statements, manage profile and lastly and most importantly to file form 24G. Next is how can PAO register on traces. So in case a person is a PAO or a pay and account officer, the same will have to go to the TDS CPC government website. After this, they need to click on register as a new user and select the type as PAO. In this, they need to mention their AIN number being the mandatory field or they can either use their AIN registration number or the form 24G receipt number. After that, they need to enter the mandatory fields like the number of DDOs, number of entries, reported TDS, remitted TDS or TCS to government account etc. Then enter the organizational details and the communication address. After this, they need to provide their user ID and the password to finish the registration process. After this, a confirmation detail on the confirmation screen will be shown. On successful registration, the same will receive an activation link on the registered email ID along with two different activation codes that is for their mail ID and mobile number. Click on the activation link and proceed to enter the activation codes. Please note that the account activation should be completed within 48 hours of registration or else the account shall be deactivated and the applicant will have to register again. Now you can make the login successfully with the username and password that has been created. So thank you all for watching this video. In case you need to know more about TAN registration, contact Rajpujan and Associates. Thank you.